Hi everybody, it's Nikki and I'm here to do a video that is personal experience, uh, not to be used as medical advice. Um, Loki Pengrats, thank you very much for the idea. I have actually done a video using the graph screen, um, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, and I did actually make one yesterday too, after my little auto mode experiment. Um, but it was not very good, so I'm hoping this one will be a little bit better. Um, okay, so Facebook group, hi. Um, this is really with you guys in mind, and I will go ahead and put it on YouTube, you know, for whoever might be able to use it. Um, okay, so what I did today, because as my group knows, I'm not in auto mode for the most part um, at, this, at this time, really for the last month and a half, two months. Um, but I am popping into auto mode from time to time to kind of run experiments and just, you know, try to figure out numbers. So today I went in for one hour um, and I went in from just about five o'clock, a little bit before five o'clock until for one hour. Um, so I did this one because I just kind of wanted to show you guys what the microboluses looked on the look like on the screen. Um, also to show you why and how I add them um, in order to compare them against manual mode basal, which I understand is a questionable comparison because this is the most current technology and it's not manual mode basal. Um, but I do also know that my manual mode basal rate is an approved rate for my disease. So I know that when I see significantly reduced rates in auto mode and then I see a BG rise, it gives me a pretty good idea as, as to why. Um, so it is something I can go back and look at rather than beating myself up over carb counting or dawn phenomenon. I can look back and go, could be those things. And it could also be because I got a 64% basal rate, you know, for an hour. That was a lot more than you needed. Okay, so this is what I was going to show you. So today I went in um, and I did a little write-up so that I can keep this organized two minutes in. Okay, um, so here we have, oh, this, we went out. Okay, I want to go into my graph screen. So I would click my graph screen button and here is my graph screen. Um, I don't know if I have to hold this up or how, how to do this. Okay. Um, so how to use your graph screen. Uh, first of all, you push your graph screen button. It, this first screen it takes you to is the two hour uh, screen. Um, if I want to access my six hour screen, I push up. If I wanna access my 12 hour screen, I push up. And if I wanna access my 24 hour screen, I push up. Um, and if I wanna return back down to my two hour, I can just keep going down. Okay, so basically in your graph screen, um, in your graph screen, you have access to up to 24 hours worth of data. That is fantastic. There's a lot of information in there. That data includes your micro bolus information, as well as the BGs that you've put in, um, your calibrations, your food boluses, some of your notifications, not all, but some of the notifications, um, suspends for up to 24 hours, and, and your suspense. You can actually see suspends on there as well. Um, so... Going back to my two hour screen. Okay, so here I am back in my two hour screen. Um, what I see immediately here are pink dots. Okay, so for those of you guys that do not know, those pink dots rep represent microboluses. Um, each dot is a microbolus. Now, un unlike in CareLink, you can't see the size of the microbolus, which is why I'm going back in and looking at scrolling through them and, and adding them up. On Carolink, you can see different lengths, so it kind of gives you an idea, but with this is just a pink dot. Um, now, what I also notice um, is that there are no pink dots before and no pink dots afterwards. Um, this, is, this is important because um, manual mode and auto mode, susp I mean, auto mode minimum delivery both look the exact same. So if you, don't see, if you don't see any pink dots, the question is, is it because you had a minimum delivery in auto mode, meaning you didn't get any insulin at that time, or is it because you were in manual mode and you were getting your full basal rate? Um, big difference in information. Um, so in my screen, I will tell you that everything before that first pink dot near the five <clears throat> was manual mode. Um, this right here is a BG, and that's what was required in order for me to enter auto mode. Now this lack of pink dots between the the little bg icon and the first pink dot that is a minimum delivery um so today upon entering auto mode i was immediately greeted with 15 minutes of minimum delivery um what else do i see uh 
Okay, um, I also see a red blood drop, which indicates a BG. Um, that's where I entered, I just said all that, sorry. Um, okay, now, in your graph screen, there is data available every five minutes. So, and that's five minutes on the dot. So whatever time it brings you in on, it will continue to cycle through um, on the minute. So for instance, if I enter it at 5.02, it'll be 5.09, no, sorry, 5.07. And then 512, 517, 5, okay, you got it. Um, so every time there is new data, it will include a new ISIG if you happen to be looking at calibration factor information. Um, it will also often include a new SG, although it doesn't always change. Um, and it will include microbolus information um, unless there is no microbolus, and then it'll just, it'll just be no dot and no information. Um, it'll give you the time, but it'll just, it just won't have a microbolus. Um, so I can scroll back at any point I want, and I can find, as I said, all of my SGs, all of my micros, all of my BGs, and all of the food and correction boluses um, for up to 24 hours. And as you know, the further you get away from the current time, the smaller everything gets. Um, but you can still access those numbers. Okay, so right here, I'm going to start off, I'm just going to scroll back to the beginning of when I entered auto mode. I know that's blurry, but I hope you guys can at least see a pink line. Okay, so this is when I enter auto mode. And if you can see it, my BG was a 70. I entered at 4.34 p.m. Um, and as I go through this, at four, there's no microbolus listed because there wasn't, there wasn't one. So 4.38, no microbolus. 4.43, no micro. 4.48 no micro, 453. Now you see a microbolus, okay, of 0 0.05. So that's the very first one I received in auto mode today. The next one, 458, a 0.05. I can't see that at all, and that's great. Okay, 503, 0.125, 508, 0.1, so on and so forth, okay? Um, I can keep scrolling, okay. Um, now, if I feel like there's something that I need to solve, for instance, if I have a blood, high blood sugar and I don't really understand why, what I use my graph screen for, first of all, I do like to look for minimum delivery, um, but that's not the only thing. In my experiment yesterday in, in auto mode for four hours, what I found over four hours is that I averaged, I think it was 64% of my normal insulin in manual mode. Um, but it's not that clear to see without scrolling through a graph screen and actually adding up microboluses. Um, so the reason I go and scroll back is in order to help me solve an unexplained high blood, blood sugar. Um, minimum delivery, is that was the usual suspect in my case, but it, recently I started to realize how often that reduced insulin would also be the case. And as I said, the only way to really see that um, I guess the hard evidence is available through a graph screen and only for 24 hours. Um, so I will just tell you, and then of course to compare it against manual mode, as I said, I don't know if that's okay or not, but it's all I have, um, so I do it. Okay, so in today's hour, I just wanted to say that I received, after adding up all of my microboluses, including the times where there were no microboluses, I received 0.525 units. Um, and I would normally receive at one hour of, the, of this time of day, 1.25 units, which means that today my grand tally was 42% of my normal rate. 42% um, of my normal rate. So it is the equivalent of a 42% temp basal. Um, in this case, I will just look really quick. You can see I'm sitting at a 141 back in manual mode. That 141 with the delay, you know, is probably, there shouldn't be much of a delay. Let's say right now I'm at a 150, 160. Um, okay, I can deal with that. Um, so in this case, I'm not mad at the minimum delivery. It brought me back up from a low blood sugar. Um, in some cases, I am mad at the minimum delivery. I'm mad at those re reduced micros. Um, but as I said, I, you don't know what it is unless you can find it. I didn't need to do all that. So that is the graph screen. I'm done. Thank you very much. And hope you guys are having a wonderful spring day. <laughs> Bye.